Hello crafties, welcome back to my channel. This is Joy from Manifi Designs. Today I'm going to be making a mask, a mask holder tutorial. It's um, kind of, you're going to use um, either a velcro or a button. It's quite easy to make. And then I've already made the one with a velcro, but I'll get down making the one with uh, a button I'm uh, putting adding a snap button so here is a uh, two fabrics that are measures 34 centimeters by 16 centimeters and then um, in inches it measures 13.5 inches by 6.3 inches I'll be leaving the measurement on my description box below so guys this is how you begin with your two rectangle um, fabrics like so and then all you the first thing you, you will be doing right away is to fold and uh, iron down um, let's say about one inch to fold it down and then you, you iron down in place and you're gonna be doing this for the boats on the boat um, fabrics so keep watching and see how to make this really necessary in case if your kids are in school you can um, help get the fabrics i mean the the face marks organized by putting them in a pouch or in a in a mask holder this helps a lot and then i, I thought to myself and said okay let, let me come up with this um video and then let's see how it goes so this is what i'm doing I just finished measuring my one inch and then uh, I you need to um, you need to iron it in place like so and it has to be in both fabrics yes and the good thing about this is that you can use any fabric of your choice you can decide to you can for me I'll be making this this but the brown fabric is going to be my outer fabric and then this red fabric is going to be my my, my inner fabric we call it lining right so this is how it's going to look like at the end of the project so as you can see the boat edges have been folded like so so the, the next thing I'll be doing is to face them together like so wrong sides together in other words my right side is facing out as you can see from the video so yeah in this part i just folded it this way and uh, you can get any round object this is what i found at that time when i wanted to do mine and i used it to create a, a circle if you like you can leave it the way it is it's not a problem but i think uh, with that circle shape it looks um yeah it looks pretty you know <laughs> so this is it guys this is what i did um marking creating a, um, a circle mm, yeah a cuff yeah a cuff shape not really a circle a cuff shape kind of you know so this is how it looks after after cutting it out stay wrong side together take note guys because you might you might be confused if you don't do it wrong side together so what i'm doing right now is pinning them in place yeah So from there I will be taking 4.5 4 inches I'm 
just look closely on what I'm doing. So I also pinned it down to secure in place. So what I did right away is to pull down, pull up the ends like so. I will be doing the same on the other side. So just um, keep watching to understand what, I, what I'm doing. Yes, I equally pull down the other parts just to mix with each other. What I'm doing right away is spinning them down so that it doesn't move uh, when I move to my to my sewing machine to sew down in place. So this is how I'll be sewing everything around, even the side. As you can see, this place has to be opened because from there I'll be bringing out the right side out. So as you can see from here, it is already sewn, and um, all I need to do is to cut out the excess, like so. Okay, before turning out, you might remove all your pins, remove them out. Here comes the front part of the project. At this point, you can choose the fabric um, you would want to be to remain outside. As I said earlier, I would like the red one to be inside and then the brown one to be out. So it's reversible. You can choose um, the fabric you would want to outside and then you start pulling it out like so you see what I mean so when you pull it out it looks like this and um, that part that is um, open I'm gonna sew it down you see it's the, the red part is now the one in, uh, the my inner fabric so this is I'll be sewing down that very opening sew it out sew it down and then via the round the, the edges you know So what I'm doing right away is spinning them down in place and then moving over to my sewing machine to sew it down. If you do not have a sewing machine, you can always use your hand to, to sew this in, in place. It's such a, an easy project to carry out as you can see. And in this part you have an option of using a velcro or uh, snap button you can even use a button just that you need to open have a button hole to like to go in line with that but I prefer this um, snap button for you know to be easy to use you know so 
So what I'm doing is sewing down the plate, sewing it in place. And before I got this measurement, I brought down the the I call it the cover here yeah, to 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 be very sure of how to place it at the middle, as you can see. So in order to for it to be well secured, I use the double thread. I think the single thread looks um, can break easily, so double thread uh, is really good to use if you are going by a snap button like so. So this is what I'm doing, going by the holes that are in the snap button to secure the trade in place by sewing round. So yeah, you have to repeat um, this to the flap, flap of the porch. And then you'll be having a beautiful mask holder or keeper for yourself. Really easy and interesting to do. If you have watched up to this part, I really want to appreciate you guys for watching. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that you get more of my videos whenever I make a new upload. For my old subscribers, I want to say thank you for watching and also appreciate you for always coming back to watch. So this is it. Um, for this part, I will be using uh, an embellishment to like beautify the, uh, the outside slab. Yeah. So when I'm done with this very snap button, I will be using a beautiful embellishment, you know, just to like beautify it. So yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, guys. Support this channel by sharing with your loved ones, please. Thank you so much. So what I'm doing is tying a knot to secure in place and then I'll be done. Yeah, look at it. It's really, really looking so beautiful. So as I said earlier, I have this to embellish it. Just adding my glue on it to secure in place. Look at that guys, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, so beautiful and easy to make. 
so yeah this is the end result of my mask holder look at the, fa the face mask if you want to watch if you want to know how i made this i have tutorials on how to make face masks on my channel so you can always go to watch if you want to learn how to make this and yeah this is how we can keep our face masks organized yes i have the second one which i used a velcro and then the other is uh, with um snap button so thank you all for watching bye